someone that you don't know. No, but uh, we got a warning about that as Local 12 troubleshooter Howard Ain points out, not all of those checks are legitimate. Fake check scams are a growing fraud in the U.S., affecting people in all walks of life. One young man looking for a job almost got taken by such a scam. Fortunately, his dad spotted the fraud. Like many young people his own age, Steven Sierra posted his resume online when he started looking for a job. The 24-year-old was surprised when he received a priority mail envelope and a check for more than $2,000 inside. As soon as I received the check, I was like, this doesn't seem right. You know, this, is, this isn't right. Who, where is this going to come from? I've never worked for these people. I've never heard of these people. He assumed the money was linked to one of the jobs he saw online but wasn't sure, so he called his dad, who was a postal employee. Some of the jobs offered on the sites were kind of like, um, hmm, I shall say, too good to be true. And it sounded too good to be true, and that's what we think, you know, this all came about. His father did a little research and took the check to the bank, where he learned it was counterfeit. A lot of these scams have been around for decades. Uh, they're just getting a little bit more sophisticated because as technology is changing. Con men likely plan to send Stephen job instructions, which include depositing the check and sending the funds back to them. The counterfeit check usually isn't discovered for up to 14 days after money has already been sent and victims are on the hook for the losses. Fortunately, that didn't happen here. Better we go through the experience now and catch it before we actually cashed it or deposited it where more damage could have been done. It was good that this young man felt comfortable enough to go to his father and say, this looks a little off. Postal inspectors say, do your due diligence. Make sure it makes sense. Make sure that the qualifications make sense, even the payment, even what they're willing to pay you. Really look at what the job is, um, what it entails. Steven says he has learned a lesson too. Instead of using online sites and uh, search engines, I'm, I would rather do interviews face to face now. So if you receive a check from someone you don't know and feel something may be wrong, call the bank on which the check is written and ask if the check is legitimate. Howard Ain, Local 12 Troubleshooter. From Local 12, the Weather Authority, this is Scott Dimmick's Hour by Hour Forecast. Well, I know we have a